Today I will show you how to make this crazy shaker effect. Yo, it's Povikas here and welcome cool guys if you're new to the channel. My name is Povikas and I've been a video editor for around 7 years now and I also run a video editing website called povikas.com where I have professional video editing presets such as my impact presets pack which would work fantastically well for these type of edits that involve shakes or distortions or these crazy flashes, you know. So yeah, I would 100% recommend to go and check out my povikas.com website. There will be a link in the description. But anyways, let's begin. Alright guys, so yeah. I have clips from Osamason from his 3x music video and yeah I do know I use these clips a lot in my videos but I do like this I think these are energetic a huge thing about shake effects is I recommend to have your clips be a bit more energetic you know have some like movement there 100% recommend that but anyways let's just make this so what we can do is we can make this for a transition or not so yeah I'm just gonna press ctrl y let's let's say here you know and I'm gonna press ctrl shift d to cut the layer and here the first effect we can add is going to be s dissolve shape which is from a paid plugin called Sapphire. So if you don't have the Sapphire plugin, there are other ways to make this, but as the salt shake is amazing for this. I like to make that dissolve percentage to like 45. And one quick tip I have to give you is if you're doing this for a transition, as you can see there is this clip and this clip. I like to put one point here. Yeah, I like to start the shake right here. I know some people like to do that as well. And I love to do that. And it's important to go like right here where we are going to start the shake and make the dissolve percent to 45, uh, you know, keyframe it. And go like half a second layer and make it to zero you can press you actually see the keyframes you can drag this wherever you want like this will make the shake faster this will make the shake pretty nice so yeah we now have a really bad shape i mean honestly that does give you a lot of energy but we don't want it like that so what we can do is i like to make the dissolve speed like 8.17 and i like to go to x shake and i like to make this to just 10. i mostly like to have a y shake you know you know vertically like when it goes up and down and i'm gonna go to y shake and I like to make the Y rand amplitude to 220. Yeah, because I, I really like it pretty high here. Yeah, as you can see. But it's still not that good. So what we can actually do is select these keyframes, press F9 and go to the graph editor. And here I like to drag this point just a little bit down. At this point, I like to drag a little bit right here. You see like right there. So I think that actually works pretty well because you don't want to make shakes like this. Although this is pretty good for edits. I mean, that is a really cool shake as well. It's a really fast shake. Shake, but if you want more impact for your clips then you kind of have to do it like this but yeah you can do it in a couple of ways you know i like this way you can do it this way it depends on what you want all right anyways yeah let's just have it like this and go out of there and now i like to add an effect called transform and here i like to make the scale to 120 keyframe this and go to the ending and make it to 100 and here we can press u again you know select the keyframes press f9 go to the graph editor and here i like to make the graph actually pretty sharp you know yeah something like this yeah this one i like to make sharp and i like to turn motion blur on by pressing this button and now an effect i really like that here is going to be exposure and i like to make the exposure to five and i like to keyframe it and let's go one two three frames forward and make it to zero here so now the shake is going to be like this which is really really cool honestly and you get a pretty professional shake right there but i'm gonna add some more sauce i like to add also cc vignette this is my type of thing I like to do i'm not gonna i never see people using this like this and i like to make the angle of view to 120 at the start and i like to keyframe it and let's go maybe like right here you know and i like to make the angle of view to zero now yeah this might be a little bit weird and yeah you can make it a bit different but i love how that looks you know just boom like that now one thing you can do is you can press u and you can actually drag this point right here and make the ang angle of view to zero here which is also a really good idea and honestly yeah let's just do it like that i mean that is going to look really cool i just like that so much i don't know it just looks really cool to me and also the real sauce if you want that is you can press ctrl alt y you can press ctrl shift d to cut the layer and let's cut this layer to one frame literally just one frame yeah so press delete there and drag this frame right here one frame after we started our shake and here we can add invert this is a little sauce I like to do because now look how this will look i honestly love that so much yeah i mean you can add this even here then it will look 
look like uh, this, but yeah, I like it right there. I mean, do what you want, guys. This, I love to do. It just gives that color, that more of an exposure. I don't know how to say it. It just looks really cool. If you want to do this as a transition, you can also take this and drag it right here, you know, and I like to make this to solve the shake at the start percentage to zero and the transform to 100. And we can make the exposure to zero, but let's drag it like right there, you know, one frame before. And this is just to get into the shape, which is really, really professional to do, to be fair. So you should be doing this. And yeah, let's just make that like that. This we will make pretty sharp, you know, yeah, this we have to make pretty sharp. And let's go to transform. And here we also need to make this pretty sharp because this will just make it look more professional and definitely way more cooler. Can't even like that is amazing. Okay, yeah, actually, guys, let's keep going. So let's press control D and I want to check it on the other clips. Wait, so let's see how spam we can actually get with this. Yeah, that looks really, really cool. And to be fair, I want to add this invert. So let's press control D and add this right here. But I'm going to sauce it up way more right now. So to sauce it up way, way more, I'm going to be using my impact presets pack, which is from my Povicos.com website. So we can press control Y, go to animation presets, user presets, impact presets. And I love adding distortion flash impact right here. But let's make this go one frame forward. So it will pretty much give us like a double flash. So pretty much because we flashed with the invert, as you remember here, and now we're going to flash with the distortion as well. So yeah, that's what I see a lot in music videos as well. It's like just so many impacts like that. As you can see right there, that is looking really, really cool. Wow. So another really cool thing you can do is when you have that little crazy shake, you can add like a dark impact. So you can press control Y. And for this type of effect, I like to use hotspots impact. So let's just see how this will look. So yeah, we can do it like that, you know, to get the darkness. But, you know, to get to that dark impact, we can also use another shake, you know, the one we just made. So, yeah, we can do that for sure. We can do anything here. Wait, let's just see how that looks. I want to see that. So that is actually insane. So I can get that like super dark. And then to transition to the next clip, I actually love to use a flash shake. So let's go right here and just press on the flash shake. So let's see how this will look. Yeah, that looks really, really cool. Just like that. Yeah, it would pretty much have added impacts that this whole video needed, you know, like this whole edit needed. Yeah. And you can add so many more of these crazy shakes. I don't know. I'm addicted to combining effects. I can't like, like that it was so easy to make with just like, you know, okay. The shake might have taken some time to make, but the presets we were able to just drag and drop. And if you want, you can drag and drop over 25 of these crazy impact presets. So 100% worth to check out the impact presets pack. Oh yeah. And also as a thank you guys for watching these videos and just supporting the channel, I have to say that I have a $5 discount code for the impact presets packed which is called povicas if you use code povicas you will save five dollars off on the impact presets pack but anyways guys that's about it for the video if you have any questions then please let me know but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya